<coughs> um, good afternoon. I am Shane Austin. So for today, I'm gonna um, defend my exercise prescription. Uh, so first is the name of the student or trainee, Jivelin Kanyu, age 22. Um, so the first is the frequency three times a day. So having a frequency of three times a day indicates that the Exercise routine is well distributed and promotes consistency. Regular exercise has numerous health benefits, including improve um, cardiovascular health, increase energy levels, and better mood. However, it's essential to consider the type and intensity of exercises to avoid overtraining and allow adequate recovery between sessions. The next is the intensity, the moderate. Exercise Exercising at a moderate intensity level is generally safe and beneficial for most individuals. It allows you to work within a comfortable range that challenges your cardiovascular system without pushing it to the, it to the extreme. So the heart rate serve is the, um, the formula is 22 minus the H, then minus the um, beats per minute or the HRR. Then equals the 134 BPM. Um, so the 134 per beats per minute is the ideal heart rate to aim for during the high intensity intervals. Then the high and low intervals. Uh, it's high. So 125. She got 125. So this is this the exercise plans include high intensity intervals, tar target heart rate 125 beats per minute, and low intensity intervals at around 97 beats per minute or the 46 percent percent of HRR. This type of interval training is known as high intensity interval training. And it's highly effective way to improve cardiovascular fitness, burn calories, and build endurance. Then the board rate of perceived exertion T. The board rating of perceived exertion scale is a subjective measure used to gauge an individual's perception of their effort during exercise. An RPE if an on an RPE of T indicates a moderate level of exertion. Then the time, 16 minutes or 1 hour. So, um, <clears throat> it provides enough time to warm up, perform the stimulus, and cool down effectively. Longer durations may be suitable for experienced individuals, but 60 minutes strikes a good balance for most people. Then warm up and cool down. <laughs> So warm up. So including warm up and cool down sessions, sessions is crucial for injury prevention and optimizing exercise benefits. The warm up prepares the body for more intense activity, increases blood flow to muscles, and reduces the risk of strains and sprains. The cool down helps lower heart rate, gradually prevents dizziness, and aids in mus in muscle recovery. Then the numbers of cycles is two. Perform performing two cycles of the high intensity and low intensity intervals provides an adequate challenge and stimulus without being overly exhausting. The number of cycles can be adjusted based on an individual's fitness level and goals. So my um, trainee said that two and cycles. Then the type. She also said that aerobic exercise is their type of exercise. The aerobic exercise, also known as cardiovascular exercise, invo involve continuous and rhythmic movements that elevate the heart rate and promote cardiovascular fitness. They are excellent for overall health, including improved heart and lung function, increased endurance, and calorie burning. So, in, in conclusion, the provided exercise plan seems well designed and balanced. However, it's important to consider individual factors such as such as age, 
fitness level, any pre-existing pre medical conditions, and exercise preferences. Before starting any new exercise program, it's recommended to consult with a healthcare professional or a certified fitness trainer to ensure the plan is appropriate for your specific specific needs and goals. So that's all and thank you.